met you, I knew you were the one. I know it sounds cheesy, but I never truly understood that feeling until I met you. Our connection was just instantaneous and undeniable. I believe that we have always been connected and we're meant to find each other in this life. Our paths crossed at just the right moment for both of us, and I'm so glad that even though you might want to believe that we met in college, <laughs> it was meant to happen later on. Meeting during a global pandemic was a wild ride. We had to get really creative with our dates, but it led to many fun nights cooking at home, trying a ton of Trader Joe's wine, been watching all of our, I mean my, favorite reality shows, <laughs> taking walks with Doe around Santa Monica, especially north of um, Montana, and of course, rooting for our beloved Huskies from your living room couch. Stephanie, I started writing these vows to you over a year ago, shortly after you said yes to marrying me. I wanted to make sure what I said today would be perfect, mostly because I almost botched the proposal when I got lost in the moment as soon as my knee touched the ground and forgot to actually say anything. But also, I was so sure at that point about what I wanted to say. I'm the luckiest person alive. Somehow finding you during the peak of the pandemic in mid-2020 was nothing short of a miracle. You are kind, generous, and caring, always prioritizing others over yourself. Anyone who has ever received a detailed injury rehabilitation program from you, after complaining of only a minor injury, can attest. And on my side of the family, there are plenty of minor ailments. You challenge me to be the best version of myself each and every day. You make me laugh, even on tough days. You are the best mom to our dog, Doe, who we might treat a little bit too much like an actual child. And while all of that still holds true, there's also so much that's happened over the past year and a half that we've spent engaged that's only made me love you even more. Through the process of planning an out-of-state wedding, I've learned that together we can accomplish anything. Together, we'll never face any challenge alone. I've learned that you are spontaneous and adventurous. You didn't even flinch when I asked to drive six hours each way to Vegas to watch our Huskies win the final Pac-12 championship game with only a week's notice, or two weeks later when I suggested that we drop everything and fly to Houston for the national championship. and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness in health until death do you part i do i do Kiss the bride. that Kyle and Doe understand that your mother and I will always be the ones that love you the most. So let's raise a toast. Stephanie and Kyle, congratulations. We are happy that Stephanie, your parents and 
Kyle, your parents, that we both share the love that we have for our sons and our daughters, and that we only hope the best for you in the years to come. Stephanie and Kyle, may your lives together be filled with love, laughter, and many beautiful memories. Cheers. I'm so excited to watch you two grow together, and I'm so lucky that I've been able to watch my best friend fall in love. Steph is a keeper, and I mean what I say because I've been married to her since sixth grade. <laughs> I wish you nothing but the best and love you both so much. Congratulations. I'm so excited to officially welcome her to our family. I feel so lucky to have two siblings now. And for anyone who wants my rendition of When You Believe from the Prince of Egypt, that's about three glasses of champagne away. <laughs> to my big brother and my new big sister. 